Happy Day Dells. Sorry for the delay. Finally getting to it. We've got the 2017 WWE TLC pay-per-view prediction show. Let's get right to it. We got Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. I am going to go with Alicia Fox. I feel like they're going to give her a little bit of a push. I just noticed that they released a t-shirt on her, which I don't even think she's ever had any merch before. So I'm going to guess that she will win. Next, we got Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan versus Jack Gallagher and the Brian Kendrick. The Brian Kendrick. Why do they have to put the in the beginning? I don't get it. Does it sound better, the Brian Kendrick? Um, not for me. Maybe for you. Let me know. <laughs> so, uh, my prediction on this, I'm going to go with Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander just because I like them better. And next, we got the Cruiserweight Championship, Callisto versus Enzo Amari. Enzo's going to win this. He's going to cheat, I'm sure, it, win the title back. The title needs to be on him. He's got a lot of hype behind him. He brings excitement to the brand, and he'll get the title back, definitely. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he will not get the title. Next, we got Asuka versus Emma. Hands down, Asuka's just going to annihilate Emma. I mean, that would be crazy if Emma won. I mean, what sense would that make if Emma won? It would make absolutely no sense. There's no way in hell that Emma's winning this match. And then we got next, Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James. Now, I really would love Mickey James to win, get the title and all that good stuff, but I have a funny feeling Alexa Bliss is going to cheat, do something shady, maybe even lose, and it'll be through like a count out or something like that. So she won't lose her belt, but she'll lose the match. So that's my prediction on that. If Mickey James wins, that would be fantastic, and she's the championship. Because she still looks good, and she could wrestle still. I like her. So that would be cool if WWE put the belt on her. Why not? I think it would be a good look. Next, we got Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. Now, it was supposed to be Sister Abigail, but something happened where Bray Wyatt was sick. And that's what they're saying. We'll see what the whole deal is tonight with this match, though. Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. I'm going to go with Finn Balor. I feel like they're going to continue this story with Sister Abigail. So AJ Styles is just going to catch a loss on this one just to put over Finn Balor more and continue this story. So that's my prediction. Finn Balor. Next we got the tables, ladders, and chairs match with Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Kurt Angle versus The Miz, Sheamus, Cesaro, and Braun Strowman. And also, again, Roman Reigns was supposed to be in the match. So he's not in the match. And there is a possibility that actually Dean, Seth, and Kurt may lose. Being that it's not like the entire Shield like together. I mean, if it was the complete Shield in this match and they lost, it would just be such a bad look for the Shield. But being that... It's just two-thirds of the Shield. They can take a L. They can lose. And it's not going to hurt the Shield comeback and whatnot. But Kurt Angle is wrestling out of nowhere. It's so strange how this Hall of Famer, one of the greatest to hit the wrestling ring, in and out of the ring, actually, too. Like, you know, he was amazing backstage, the promos, all that good stuff. This is how he comes back is so odd to me. And, um, hey, it is what it is. I'm glad he's back in the ring because he still got it. You know, I hate those church you still got it. But he really still got it. We've seen him, you know, on Impact, TNA, whatever the hell you want to call it nowadays. And we've seen it on the indie circuit. I hope that he continues wrestling. I would absolutely love to see a feud with... Kurt Angle and like Matt Hardy because they both will work great together and they're veterans. Kurt and Matt Hardy need someone to have a feud with now because of the fact that his brother is going to be MIA for a little bit recovering. I think he even needs to get another surgery done. So that really sucks for Jeff Hardy. Really nice dude. Met him a bunch of times. 
I mean, him and Matt Hardy are just stand-up people. They're so nice. If you ever get the opportunity to meet them, they're they're great, great people. So, um, you know, I wish them the best. But I definitely want to see Matt have some kind of feud. We've seen him fight Braun Strowman. That was kind of strange. I'm glad that he didn't just get, like, destroyed by Braun also. Like, that was good as a fan of the Hardys. I didn't want to see Matt just get just jobbed out by Braun. He actually put up a fight and whatnot. So that was a good look. But getting back to Kurt Angle, I definitely would have liked to seen it set up a little differently than just like him being thrown in the mix. This uh, pay-per-view, I don't think the ratings are going to be that great because of the fact that The Walking Dead is back. And like for me, as much as I love WWE, the product is just not what it used to be. And I'm going to watch The Walking Dead when it comes on. It's like WWE is getting shut off 10 minutes before The Walking Dead. And I'm watching The Walking Dead tonight. I am so hyped for this show. And um, it's the 100th episode. Crazy things are going to go down. I'm sure, I mean, we're going to just be in shock. I'm sure Twitter is going to be lit tonight. So make sure you're following my Twitter, at DJ Dells. Predictions on who's going to die I definitely, for some reason, think Morgan is going to die. And I also think that Eugene is going to die. I think Eugene is going to die. Morgan's going to die. And Sheba, is that the name? I, excuse me if I'm saying the wrong name. I'm pretty sure that's the name. I'm, I think the walkers are just going to attack, you know, when she's trying to save the king. Uh, Jerry, I have a feeling, is going to die, too. I like Jerry. Jerry's just like a happy-go-lucky guy. Just always happy, you know? Very chill. Uh, but I, I think Jerry's going to go, too. And uh, I have a funny feeling we're going to get hit with, like, one big, big loss. Like, someone that's just going to completely, like, throw us for a surprise. And we're all going to be just really upset. I have a really... Just a strong, strong feeling about that. I hope I am wrong, but I just really, really have a bad feeling that someone that we absolutely love on the show, that have we have like a huge connection to, is going to die. I mean, if Morgan dies, that's a big deal. I, I, I dig Morgan. The only thing I don't like about Morgan is how they like got him back to like super crazy Morgan again. Like I liked when he was at the point where... He started, like, protecting again. You know, like, he did what he had to do to save Carol. And that was the point where I liked him. But then when he started going nuts again, you know, the character is too up and down, up and down. And the actor is fantastic that plays him. I don't know his name. I mean, I don't know really any of the guy's names off top except for Daryl and Rick's character. And I love all of them. I mean, I really love all the characters. Uh, I really don't want to see any of the main characters go, uh, including Morgan. I like Morgan. I, I just wish they'd stop, like, tugging him so dramatically in different ways. I know that he definitely has mental problems, and he's fighting through it, going through all the stuff he's gone through, which is a lot, from losing his wife to losing his kid to losing his mentor who was training him, and then losing um, the boy over on Hilltop, I forgot his name, you know, everyone that he opens his heart to, he loses, so I can understand how he is mentally unstable, and that's why they have his character up and down, up and down, up and down like that, so um, it does make sense, but I'd like him to just stay at a, a stable balance where he's not like anti-violent like he's ready to do what he got to do to protect his own but i just i don't like how he's just one extreme or he's just like a complete puss you know what i mean like i just want him to be leveled out i wish they would just keep him leveled out and i felt like he was there when he was at hilltop and then all of a sudden he just went ham again when that kid died you know uh that really just brought him to like such a whole nother level you know, he had such a tight bond with him, training him, and um, it's going to be really, really interesting tonight. Uh, let me know what you're watching. Are you watching both? Are you watching Strictly WWE? Are you watching Strictly The Walking Dead? You think wrestling is trash? 
Uh, there's people that don't like wrestling that are subscribed to this channel. Um, there's people that are into wrestling and Walking Dead. There's people that are, you know what I'm saying. Jesus, I'm all over the place. Who knows? Maybe Jesus will go. You just never know who's going to go tonight. Uh, as long as Daryl doesn't go. Someone said that they heard rumors Daryl's going to go. Uh, that would be a complete shock. That would devastate the world. Literally. I mean, because so many people watch this show. There's no way they could get rid of Daryl. They The show makes so much money off of merchandise off Daryl. I mean, for them to get rid of their bread and butter, that would be crazy. I mean, if anyone's buying a Walking Dead t-shirt, it's going to have Rick or Daryl Michonne on it, right? Or if it comes to a pop figure, it's going to be those three. Um, so I can't see them getting rid of any of those three right there. Michonne, Daryl, or Rick. I would say they are the face of Walking Dead. As much as I love Carol, like Carol's my girl, I will... I really hope they don't get rid of Carol. Uh, you know, Morgan is a big character. There's a lot of big characters on the show, but as far as, like, where they make their money with merchandise and all that, it's definitely those three I mentioned. If you disagree with me, leave that in the comments. And that's it for today's video. A little combination platter. I hit you with a little bit of Walking Dead talk and WWE talk. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the thumbs up button, please. Helps the channel. Share this on your social media. And come back. If you're watching this before the shows come on and you um, watch both shows or one of the shows, come back and leave your thoughts on everything. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you're new. And we out.